If you're a Rocketbook user, you probably know that Pilot's friction pens are the only ones that the company officially recommends for use with their reusable notebooks. That's because the thermosensitive ink, which becomes translucent when warmed above 60 degrees Celsius and reappears when cooled below minus 10 degrees Celsius, is also water soluble. This allows it to be easily wiped from the synthetic Rocketbook pages with water and a damp cloth. Since making my video testing all the friction products easily found on Amazon, I've had a few questions about Pilot's smallest 0.38mm slim friction pens, so I thought I would make this video to follow up and specifically compare the 0 0.7, 0 0.5, and 0.38mm ballpoint pens head to head. It's worth noting that Pilot also makes a 1mm bold friction pen, but they aren't particularly easy to come by, so I'm focusing this comparison on the sizes that are readily available. All three pens use a ballpoint mechanism to deploy the friction ink, and are most commonly found in clicker style bodies, though the 0.5 and the 0.7mm pens are also easily found in bodies that have removable caps. These 0.5 and 0.7mm clicker pens are identically sized and feature click mechanisms that are a part of the pen's clasp. The grip of these larger pens is just over 11mm thick and features a rubberized cover to improve comfort. Alternatively, the 0.38mm friction pen's grip is just plastic, but it's significantly smaller at just over 8mm, creating a much more compact pen overall. In this case, the clicker mechanism stands alone as a transparent triangular nub near the pen end. For all three tip sizes, the ink cartridges can be easily removed by unscrewing the pen's grip from the body. Both of the thicker pens share the same cartridge style, which allows you to swap them between pen bodies without issue, and either is compatible with Pilot's Premium Friction LX body, which I have here in the silver color to help make my pen look just a little bit more formal. Unfortunately, the slim 0.38mm ink cartridges aren't compatible with the thicker pen bodies, but Pilot does offer a Friction Slim Biz pen that's a little more formal if you need a more premium feel. Taking a look at some writing samples, the results are as expected, with increasing tip size corresponding to thicker lettering. Since the Rocketbook synthetic pages don't absorb the ink though, I do find that the thickest 0.7mm pen does look a little bit blotchy compared to the 0.5 and the 0.38mm tips. Having said that, it also feels the smoothest and most gel-like when writing. Regardless of the tip size, all scanned quite well using the Rocketbook app, though, again, the thicker the pen, the more bold the image appeared. Personally, I think the 0.5mm pen strikes a nice balance between boldness and feel, because I'm not a huge fan of the in-person blotchiness of the 0.7mm pen, or the texture of writing with the 0.38mm pen, which is a little too sharp for my taste. In terms of drying time, the results were also quite intuitive, with the 0.38mm pen taking around 7 seconds to dry, the 0.5mm pen taking about 12 seconds to dry, and the 0.7mm pen taking roughly 20 seconds to dry. This makes sense since the larger ballpoints deposit more ink on the Rocketbook synthetic polyester pages, which don't absorb the ink, so it has to dry out in order to avoid smudging. Regardless, it's an important factor to consider because it's never fun to come back to a note and find that you smudge the text with your palm or by flipping the page too soon. Another question I get asked a lot is how long will a friction pen last? So to estimate this, I measured the height of the ink in brand new cartridges for each pen size. Then I filled six pages of my letter size fusion notebook fairly densely with some fake notes, which I duplicated for each pen size. Once I was done, I measured how much the ink had dropped inside of the cartridge and used that to roughly estimate how many pages each full cartridge should be able to fill. As I expected, thinning the tip from 0.7 to 0.5mm makes a significant improvement in the pen's longevity since both use the same ink cartridge. I found that the 0.7mm tip would be capable of filling about 26.5 pages and that the 0.5mm tip would last nearly twice as long, being able to fill about 59 and a quarter pages. Keep in mind that these pages were quite densely filled. Interestingly, the slim 0.38mm pen performed the worst, with my estimate coming out to about 17 and a quarter pages. I suspect this is because the cartridge of the slim pens is much thinner than that of the standard 0.5 and 0.7mm pens. 
These numbers aren't great, which seems to agree with the general consensus that Pilot's friction pens don't last very long, but it's worth noting that your mileage will certainly vary from my numbers depending on how densely you fill each page, and whether you're using a letter or executive size notebook. I think the most important finding here is that the 0.5mm pen will last significantly longer than either of the other options, which may be something you want to consider. The last tip I'll give you is to consider buying replacement cartridges for your friction pens rather than replacing the entire pen. I know this seems obvious, but it's worth restating for Rocketbook users, because our pen bodies tend to hold up better over time, since, as I've shown in my previous videos, you shouldn't be using the pen's eraser on Rocketbook synthetic pages to avoid damaging your notebook. At the end of the day, I think the 0.5mm friction pens are the best options for my note taking because they dry relatively quickly and strike a nice balance between feeling so thin that I worry about scratching the synthetic pages and so thick that they cause blotchiness. And it certainly doesn't hurt that they last much longer than the 0.7 or 0.38mm options. But what about you? If you made it this far, take some time to let me know which friction pen you prefer in the comments down below. All three pens are available in a variety of colors to suit your taste, so I'll leave links to some of them in the description below. And as always, if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.